guys so today i had online classes and i just finished my lecture on zoom it's currently 1 18 p.m i didn't have breakfast yet because i woke up right before my class started which was like 11 30 so i'm gonna be eating some food now i feel like i haven't filmed like a what i eat in a week during a school week in so long the last time i did it was in grade 12 and now i'm in uni so this is gonna be like my first what i eat in a week during a uni week I quickly wanted to talk to you guys about these recent body products that I've been using from a brand called Necessaire. I also wanted to thank them for sponsoring this video. Necessaire has personal care items like lotion or body washes that are clean and highly effective. I've been using the body essentials which include these three, the body lotion, the body wash, and the body exfoliator. The body wash is a daily multivitamin cleanser for skin health and as you can see the bottle is more than half empty. That's how much I've been using it. I love it so much. It's it smells so good and it makes my skin feel so fresh and clean. It uses three oils, marula, cocaine, and meadow foam, which help to nourish and soften skin. It gently cleanses the skin without stripping or leaving residue. The formula also contains vitamins like vitamin C, B, and E. Next we have the body exfoliator, which is a weekly multi-exfoliation that is for skin treatment. The formula contains ingredients rich in bamboo charcoal, lactic acid, and glycolic acid that help to remove dead skin cells and also soften skin with without irritation. I usually use this one to two times a week for exfoliation and removing dead skin cells. Also, these two products have a fragrance-free version. So if you don't like scents, then there is also that option for you. Now for the body lotion, it is a fast absorbing multivitamin moisturizer for skin health. This one is fragrance-free. It uses three oils, marula, cocaine, and metal foam that infuse skin with vitamins and immediately moisturize and soften the skin. Especially with the weather getting colder where I live, my skin starts to get more dry. So this body lotion has been helping a lot with moisturization and making sure my skin doesn't feel all like flaky and dry. Lastly, we have the body serum which is good for skin dryness or recovery and it is also vegan and cruelty free. It includes ingredients like hyaluronic acid and is hypoallergenic. This one is also fragrance free. So yeah, if you guys are interested, make sure to check my description box down below for all the product links. So I just finished my accounting lab and it is currently 7.22 p.m does not focus honestly as you can see it's 7 22 p.m i'm gonna have some dinner finally i'm starving also i feel like i'm gonna get some comments that are gonna be like oh your mom still cooks for you when you're in uni basically there are days when i cook for myself it's just that like when i film a what i eat in a week video my mom tries to cook for like every single day so that the food can look more like you know visually appealing and i know a lot of you guys like to see my mom's cooking <laughs> This angle is so weird, but I'm trying to show like the food. I'm also wearing an apron so the food doesn't like get on my shirt. 
Mm. The combination of the cheese and the chicken is so good. For my drink, I'm having ramune. I haven't had these in so long, but the packaging is so cute. That's why I always get it. I low-key forgot how to open this. Hi guys, so today is the next day and I just got ready because I have school. I'm going on campus, so it's currently 10, 14 a.m. and I'm gonna have something to eat. For breakfast today, I'm having peach Greek yogurt and I don't know if you know, but this is super trendy right now on social media So my mom tried to make it. There's basically Greek yogurt stuffed into the peach The combination is so good You will become an accomplished writer. <laughs> Hi guys, so I just finished with my online classes Today I only had one tutorial so it was pretty light But today has to be like a really productive day for me because I have so much to do and I have my accounting quiz tomorrow, so I have to like study. Also, I tried to put my hair in like space buns, but I don't really know if I like it. My curtain bangs are so hard to like style. So I'm having California rolls that my mom made and I have soy sauce and seaweed salad and then I have tenjangguk here It is currently 5.02 p.m. and I've been working on my business assignment that's due tomorrow but I just got myself a little snack to have while working on my assignment 
It's this yogurt bowl with granola, blueberries, apples, and raspberries, and honey on top. So I finally finished my assignment. It's currently 8.07 p.m. So it took me like way longer than I expected, but I'm finally gonna be eating some dinner. But after I eat, I have to start studying. For dinner, I'm having mirpeyu. Hi guys, so I just finished my accounting quiz and I literally had a panic attack during the quiz because the document wouldn't like save as a Word document and my prof said that he wouldn't mark anything in like another type of file like Google Docs or Pages so I started like actually freaking out because I had like five minutes left before the deadline but turns out my computer's weird and opens like Word files into Pages so I was able to submit it like one minute before the deadline but yeah, that was not fun I'm still like shaking I'm just so glad that's over over, even if I didn't do good because like I know that I didn't do good. It's currently 1 5 p.m. And I'm gonna have breakfast. Actually, that's not breakfast. Yeah, my first meal as you guys already know I like skip breakfast because I either wake up late or I'm doing class. Today I didn't go on campus for classes because I had the quiz which was all online. So I'm having steak tokbap and pechukuk. It looks so good. Mm. <laughs> So I just woke up from my nap. It's currently 6.38 p.m. I literally napped like the entire day today. I slept right after I ate, so I feel kind of like bloated, but I'm craving some ice cream, so. I'm having some Pumo Samanko while watching Hometown. This is my current favorite drama. It's so cute. It's so funny because I started watching Hometown right after I finished Squid Game. So the contrast between these two shows was so funny. Squid Game was so good. Like usually I prefer thriller and like gory stuff over romance but hometown is just hitting so different i'm obsessed with kim sono right now like i've never really watched him in stuff like his dramas but his role in this drama is so cute like for dinner i'm having jampong ramen
So today I'm having shrimp cream curry, pechukuk, and oimuchin. This looks so pretty and so good. So I just finished eating and it's currently 2.44 p.m. I have plans with my friends right now and I'm actually already running late so But I already did my makeup and got ready before I started eating I just have to like pick an outfit I kind of want to wear like a preppy outfit today and like take cute Instagram pictures because I'm so inactive on my Instagram like I literally post maybe like once a month or not even a month I don't know I just never post on Instagram because I don't really have time I get really lazy to take pictures honestly so this is today's outfit these thigh highs are from yes style this is actually my first time wearing the thigh highs out even though I had them for like so long Okay, we're done taking pictures. Oh my god, that took us like... Hi guys, so I literally just got home, but I'm so full. I wanted to quickly show what I got today. So I got this volume of Jujutsu. It's volume 11 and it's the Nanami cover. I mainly got it because of the Nanami cover and I'm pretty sure it's the Shibuya arc. It's the Shibuya arc, but I think it's part 7. I'm still not caught up with Jujutsu. I finally finished volume 1. It took me like a month to read this. I just skipped to where the anime ended in the manga after volume 1. And then I got this Uron sticker from Hot Topic. My friend actually got it for me while I was in the washroom. I'm having yangpajeon and seafood nurunji tang. Right now it is 2.53 a.m. Today was really uneventful even though it's a Saturday. Honestly, my life hasn't really been that interesting lately. From 4 to like 9, I didn't do anything other than just like scroll through Instagram and YouTube. And then I fell asleep at like 9 and I woke up at like 11.40. I'm feeling a little hungry after my nap. I'm gonna make some pruda. I also have some leftover chicken here that my parents brought home.
For my first meal today, I'm having tonkas. This sauce my mom made, and this is store bought tonkas sauce. This one. And then this is oinengu and musenche for banchan. And then I just have a berry smoothie here. This is literally like a full course meal. Mmm. So I just did a bit of my makeup because in this video, I didn't really like put makeup on. So I didn't really feel that cute, but I'm going to be making some bulky. I've already made bulky before in one of my What I Eat In A Week videos, but ever since Squid Game came out, the bulky challenge became so like popular and trendy. I see it like all over my Instagram and TikTok. So I figured I would also put it in this What I Eat In A Week video. So I have everything set up here. These are the shapes that I'm going to use. The only shape that I have that was actually in the drama is the star. I have brown sugar, white sugar, and baking soda. like starting to melt now i'm just adding a pinch of baking soda i think i burnt it yeah <laughs> it's so burnt it tastes good but it's stuck the only way i can eat it is by licking it i kept licking it so it came off after a lot of failed attempts i finally got to make three i have a star one a heart one and this is like a person this one already broke like this but i'm gonna try to like take the shape out just like that i have a needle here with me just like they had in the drama should i just try to like break it just risk it all <laughs> i'm scared i already broke the shape so i guess i'd be dead i actually got the heart i also managed to pick this one out it actually makes it softer, like he did in the show. With the leftovers, we're making pokumbap. 